Hello, 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 and welcome back guys and girls to some more Puzzle and Dragon Super Mario Bros. Edition of the Nintendo 3 So of course this game is now a week old or a week new, whatever you want to call it. And um, we're having a great time so far, we did actually begin things with the Puzzle and Dragon Z mode. We've now dived over to the Super Mario Bros. mode. And uh, yeah, let me know what, which one you guys prefer. And um, whichever one it is, if you want to see more of the other version or this version, just please let me know. Because I'm not really sure where I stand at the moment, I'm not really sure which one to go with. To be honest, I'm actually really enjoying both modes, but maybe just about maybe enjoying this mode a little more because I am more familiar with Mario characters, of course. The other one, the other one does take a lot of a lot more getting used to, like the new monsters, evolving monsters, and all that kind of stuff. But it definitely, definitely has a lot more depth to it, and um, I guess we'll continue on with uh, the Mario Bros. mode. So um, it doesn't even have to be this game; it can be other games because I'm looking to do a bit more Mario Kart and stuff like that. Obviously, we've got the Pokemon Shuffle still going on, and what we have going on right now is another. The second castle of World 1. So World 1 is actually picking up in difficulty at, at the moment. Uh, we've got a brand new team. We've got paratroopers. We've got red coopers. We've got... What else have we got? We've got shiny coopers. I'm not even sure what we have anymore. But um, more diamond We've got a new Super Mario actually. And we have Super Luigi. We have, we've got small Luigi. We've got small Mario. There's so many different characters in. It's actually kind of weird to have two different Marios in one game. But um, I think now we have the Super Mario. There's probably no point going back to the smaller Mario. So uh, we'll go with an, an ally here, a helper. So this is Small Mario. He is a lot weaker in stats, even at a high level. So obviously it's a no-brainer. You, you're going to go with Super Luigi. Uh, I think this, their like skill powers, their assistant skills are exactly the same. It just um, deals a lot more damage. But here we are. I do love in this game, like if you go into a castle, like the music, the atmosphere and the scenery does change. As you can hear it now, that classic, legendary, beautiful Mario music. You'll probably be familiar familiar with it if you played the Super Mario Bros. games on the Wii or the Wii U or anything like that. So, um, it's really awesome. Honestly, it's really awesome. I really enjoy it. So, I guess, okay, we're up against... Okay, this could be a little tricky. Uh, we just go for something a little simple to uh, start things off. I don't really feel too confident at the moment. We need to actually, like, get into it, get into this first before we, um, find our rhythm and uh, get things rolling so healing we don't really need any healing they're gonna attack in the next turn grass matches are definitely the is definitely the wise option to go with I'm not really sure how we can get that going right now uh, let's see no I guess we'll just go star here uh, got too many combos to think about we'll go this is always the problem when I play puzzle games I, I think too much about what I'm gonna do um, so apologies for that We'll just go with um, We'll just go with this for now. Right, turned out a lot better than I expected. So yeah, as I was saying, let me know which game you want to see, whether it's this, more Mario Kart. Pokemon Shuffle is definitely gonna be continuing as there's always like new updates for that game. It's kind of crazy how far it's come. For a free game, they've definitely put a lot of time into it. And uh, I kind of like feel there's something big um, awaiting us because it did actually take a short, short while for them to release like the next update, which was levels 180 to 190. Obviously, you're not going to finish the things at 190. It's definitely at least going to go to 200 levels or more. I, I just got a feeling that it's going to extend to at least 250. I may be wrong, but I really hope I'm not because that game is definitely one of my favorite things I've played all year which is kind of insane because it was only a free game but I'm really really enjoying it and I can't wait to play a lot more I've just actually finished all of the bonus levels I still need to actually do the expert levels and catch everything which I've uh, missed out on which will be a lot of fun I mean you get the, promotion, the promotional Pokemon such as Regirock which is it's nearly impossible to capture I'm really having a tough time with that one I need to actually do a bit of grinding after this video I make here and hopefully put an end to that damn Regirock so um, we'll s okay, we've got a combo box here. Um, and that does make three combos, but we need four, so we've got another opportunity. That doesn't really matter what we do here. We just go for a bit of healing, not that we need it, and there we go. We have got ten coins. I actually kind of forgot what these coins do for you in this game. I mean, I haven't really had too much experience with this. This is only my third media video of the Mario Bros. version. And, I mean, it does have a lot of similarities to the original version, such as the Evolving, which I had no idea. Um, you'll be able to evolve your allies such as Coopers into Paratroopers which I find super awesome and uh, I can't wait to see what you can actually turn a Goomba into maybe a Goomba Trooper if that's actually a word or a Paragoomba 
I'm not really sure what the term is for it, but it'll be a lot of fun to see. And we've got some waters here, we'll go with a grass match, not that we have many to make. So... Oh god, we're going a long way around here. Oh god, we kind of like struck a dead end there, didn't really work out as I planned. But never mind, never mind. Minimal damage. And uh, yeah, this gives us another shot. Okay, simple little mix and match there. Even though it was so simple, I feel like it was the best move we could have made at that time, and it was enough. As you can see, our, it's actually a wood element, I keep calling it grass, it's actually called the element of wood, I keep, ugh, gotta get it into my brain. I'm thinking Pokemon here, because I keep playing a lot of Pokemon recently, collecting the cards, playing the game, ugh, need to get it out of my head for this game. Anyway, we've got some fire ones here, now we want to make water matches, and this could be a little tricky to actually make. Uh, we'll do that for now. Not really ideal, but still. Alright, what skills? We can't make any skills. Oh dear. Okay. So you may notice we've got a, par a paratroop here of the element of light. At first I actually found him super weak, he didn't really, even in the puzzle in Dragon Z mode I find the light monsters pretty weak, um, but now we've actually evolved it and boosted a few of its stats, I actually find it a lot more useful now. Still, if I had to choose just like one character to have, obviously I'll go with Mario because I don't know what it is with Mario, it always seems like, well obviously in, in all the Mario games he's like classed as an all around character, his stats are good in each department, and uh, it's definitely the same in this game. But if I had to choose one, then I probably would go with... I did say Mario, but apart from Mario, if I had to choose one, I'd probably go with the Cooper. I'm really enjoying the blue Cooper at the moment. He's he's a lot of fun. I love I just love his look and he's actually pretty powerful, so he's a he's a nice character to have. And as you'll see here. Okay, he killed one of them. I actually expect him to do a bit more than that. But uh, never mind. Alright, uh let's see. Okay, um... Alright, nice little combo there. Free hit combo, that should be enough. And it is, so... This is, like, one of the mini boss areas. We're just about to confront the boss in this next little... Um... Scenario here. It's actually really weird, there's been, like, two little mini castles so far. Oh wow, we've got one of the Kooplins here. This is Larry. So yeah, we, we don't really see too much of, well, I, in past Mario games I've played, you don't really see too much of uh, Larry, so this is kind of cool. I mean, you see him in Mario Kart, I can't really remember what other games, um, or what other recent games you see him in. But yeah, this should be a lot of fun. Alright, where shall we take this star? The thing is, I want to make a double combo somewhere. Uh, I'm going to kind of like... Oh god, I want to drag that last star. Never mind, we kind of like blew it for that combo. But yeah, as you can see with the bosses, sometimes they come in groups, sometimes they come on their own. This one's came on its own, it does have a huge health bar, and it's actually, yeah, speaking of health bars, he's almost taken all of our health down there. Uh, let's see, we've got a skill move here, what can we do? We want to go fire. Uh, red shell? Changes water orbs into fire ones, that could be very, very, yeah, that's going to be very beneficial here. Um, we, we actually got to heal up as well, because as you can see, he's going to attack in two turns. We're super low on health, we've got a nice little health combo there, and yeah, we're going to focus on healing just for this turn. And I kind of blew it, okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, we'll get that going once again in here, we get a grass match, and there we go, a sweet little move there, we'll get that health back, which we desperately need to be honest, almost maxed out, and uh, please don't go for another skill move again. Alright, it's going basic this time, and it's still actually pretty tough. So yeah, it would actually be super, super awesome if we can actually capture him as an ally to use for ourselves. Uh, but let's not get too carried away. What can we do? What can we do? Alright, can you guys see anything? I don't really see too many matches on. We'll go with another skill move. Uh, we've got super jump. Bash. We'll go super jump. Raises attack of your light attribute team members. Oh no, we don't want to go with that, do we? Uh, we'll go with a bash attack with... Um, 
Oh god, we don't want to go with that either. Green shell, uh, winged yellow suit, super dash. Oh god, we're gonna go with bash attack. Okay, that was fairly okay. I mean, it was wood on wood, so I didn't really expect too much, but it was fairly okay. Uh, we want to get another little healing in there if that's possible. I don't really think that is possible, to be honest. But then again, we do have another additional turn in case of any emergencies or whatnot. So, uh, let's see. Off the top of my head, I don't really have much in mind. So, here goes nothing. Alright, two hit combo. Not too bad, I guess. Remember, fire's our best friend, so we'll try and keep getting that in there. Uh, he's going to attack again here. I'm not really sure how much damage it's going to take. Oh, God. Deary, deary me. Uh... Yes, we got the power orb there. We got the power orb. That will be enough to take him down. But... Yes, hopefully, yes, thankfully we don't have to rely on that. We have taken him down. I think we're going to get a coin here for our troubles. Five coins, experience, 75 coins in total. Yes, thank you. I think that was actually pretty close because if we didn't manage to kill him there and he went for that like tornado move again, that may have been the end of us. But thankfully, we don't have to find out what's going to happen. We've got a water block there. We've got a fire block. I don't really think we're getting Larry here as a ally. We've got a green Cuba trooper and we have a red Koopa Trooper, so pretty much what we had already. We can actually use these to fuse it, fuse them into our other allies and make them a lot stronger. And we finally made it to the end of World 1. What does that actually mean? Is this like a warp to World 2 or is this like another level? Oh wait, we got, oh god, we got a Kooplin ship here. Is Bowser one here? Remember, Bowser actually kidnapped Princess Peach, so we're after, you know, it's pretty much like every Mario game. Our job is to get Princess Peach back, but anyway. Do you know about leader skills? They're different to regular skills. Leader skills have special effects that benefit the whole team. The leader skill changes depending on which ally you set as your team leader. Okay, I, I was pretty aware of that. I mean, Toad tells us a lot of tips, but he tells us like a little bit too late into the game when we actually know about that already. So we're going to quickly really dive back into Toad's house. Uh, how do we actually do this again? There should be like a little map here. Worlds, Toad's house, there we go. So actually eight worlds in total, which is a lot more than I expected. It is smaller than the Puzzle and Dragon's Z version of the game. But I mean, you're going to get enough game time out of uh, this mode. And it's kind of cool that that's a two-in-one. But anyway, power up, transform. Can we actually transform anything? You actually need to collect items to be able to transform certain allies. Let's see, we're going to go with a Goomba here. It'll be really awesome to see what this guy looks like once he has evolved or transformed and you need the following p-wing do we have a p-wing oh we have one but we need two so we can't actually evolve him uh let's see well, that should be pretty cool if you can evolve him more than once and i think you can you need five super mushrooms to evolve our paratrooper a yellow cooper paratrooper um for the second time so it's kind of cool you can actually evolve your monsters more than once so i guess we'll look forward to that in a, at a later time but for now we're going to power up some of our enemies so who shall we go with? We've got Super Luigi, we got... Okay, who do we actually have on our team at the moment? We've got you, we got you, we got you... Wood... Um, I'm not even sure who we should go with. Do you know what? We may just go with... Where are you? We may just go with Mario as he's... This is Super Mario, he's only level 3, so... Bear with him. And here we go. Yeah, so you're going to find a lot of duplicates when it comes to enemies. But then again, you can use them to do things just like that. So it's not really a bad thing. Because I find that she's very important to the game. So we're going to go back into World 1. This will be the last level of this world. And uh, it's the first time we're attempting this. It's going to be like the main major boss battle. I'm not really sure if it's going to dive straight into a boss battle. Or it's going to be like the same as it's always been. But I feel like... We need to be well prepared here. I'm a little worried about this. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah, so it's definitely going to work the same as it does in previous levels. So yes, water's going to be our best friend here, and there we go. Sweet little combo to start things off. That should be enough. Oh, it felt like it should have been enough, but not quite. So yeah, these enemies are going to be 
slightly more tougher than what we come up against. As you can see, it's only just the one enemy, so you can kind of tell already. Uh, let's see, water. Where are you, water? I may just go fire here. Probably not wise to do, but at least it did lead into a little water combo as well. Oh god, charge! No, he's coming! He's coming! Wait, he's not coming. He's just charging up his attack for, for his, his next move. So if you can take him down within the next move or so, we should pretty much be safe. And yeah, that's definitely going to be enough regardless. There we go. So yeah, we've been going about 50 minutes now. We've only just made it to our second level of the episode. Alright, some Goombas here. It's going easy on us now. There we go, nice little triple match. Four hit combo. You would think it would be enough, Goombas are never actually strong in any Mario game. And we got a little Goomba token there. Kinda cool. Not really sure what that's gonna do for us, but it's kinda cool, a Goomba coin. Oh yeah, remember guys, we need we actually need a P-Wing, we need some mushrooms, and we may actually get a P-Wing from this. Yeah, this is what we'll evolve our Goomba into once we get that P-Wing. Exactly what you see on the, sc on the screen here. What I'm actually worried, um, wary of is what they actually call this thing. I was guessing a, wait, what was I thinking? A Paragumba? Yeah, I think Paragumba was what I had in mind. I'm not entirely sure what it's gonna be, but uh, I guess we'll find out if we do get the P-Wing here. Yeah, that's pretty impressive from our light Cooper Trooper. He's actually, he's come a long way. All right, we'll keep things basic there. I think one move should um, round this off, and it didn't. He's gonna attack. Oh wait, it just had a name there, Paragumba, so yeah, I was right about that. And yeah, this one should get it off, seal the win. So when we make a basic combo, it actually turns out to be the ultimate combo. Typical, I was actually hoping to save those orbs for him the boss battle, which may actually be next. Alright, let's see what you got. Alright, we've still got a couple more obstacles to hurdle over before we find a boss. Yes, one more and then the boss battle shall be here. We've got a Koopa Trooper and we have this little charge thing, whatever it's called again. I don't even know what you call this thing. I, I, you see it in a lot of Mario games, but it, obviously it's going to have a name, but I've never actually known what its name is. Uh, but yes, let's get back to this. If we can drop down the grass. Now we we'll just take it over there. Alright, not bad, not bad. Ooh, almost one down. Paratroop was about to attack. Oh god, we actually need to make sure we're full in health um, before we go into that boss battle. Uh, let's see. I feel like, oh god, we didn't even take him down. I feel like the one on the left is more of a threat for some reason. Even though Koopa's the one getting all the hits in at the moment. I just feel like it's going to go for like a huge attack in the moment and it's going to be, oh, it's going to be horrible. Alright, let's get that healing in there, we'll get one attack in there, we'll get two attacks in there in fact. It should at least take one of them down. Okay, it takes both of them down, we've got that healing in there. Uh, it's not quite full in health, but it's pretty much max. So we've just leveled up a couple of our characters also, and the boss battle is just one more step away. Here we go guys, the moment we've all been waiting for, we're about to, or hopefully about to move on to World 2. And uh, we really call this like the desert area, usually in Mario games it's the desert area second. So we'll see if the whole like atmosphere, the whole theme does change, and yes, is this Larry again? It may be, it may be. So yes, as you can see, our skills are back intact. Uh, we'll go with a... Alright, we need to go fire here. Uh, change these water orbs into fire ones. There's a few there's a few water ones here. I mean, that does kind of work out for us. We'll... Oh, where shall we go? Alright, we'll go line of four here. And then obviously we've got the grass combo on. So a pretty solid move to start things off against Larry here. Alright, taking down at least almost a third of his health. And yes, let's keep this rolling. Uh, we'll get the fire back in there. There we go, we get the healing back in. Nice little triple four hit combo. And yes, we should be well over halfway here. We're pretty good. we're doing pretty well at the moment. This hasn't been the toughest of boss, but of, ugh, of boss battles. Let's get those words out. Larry's tornado was the move he was using. Maybe this time we'll be lucky enough to, to get him as an ally. We'll find out in a moment, we've got a nice little grass match combo on. Uh, we'll switch out the star. 
and there we go. Sweet, that's that's gonna be enough. I'm pretty confident that's gonna be enough to get this done, guys. Oh, Larry, Larry, Larry. I love all the Kooplings. I'm pretty sure we're gonna see a lot more of these Kooplings as we go along. There's Larry. Do you know what? I've, I've forgot all the names. There's Larry. There's. Ugh. I'm playing a lot of Mario Kart, but I forgot all the names for some reason. But yes, another 75 coins. Did we level up? I don't think so, but 46,000 is our score. And a Goomba coin and a fire block are our items acquired. So no P wing this time round, which is kind of unfortunate. To get oh god, a flame chomp. So that's the name, a flame chomp. Alright, he's become an ally. He does look like the element of fire. Then again, I can't I'm quite happy with my my uh, Cooper as my fire um enemy or ally. But well done, you've cleared this world. The next world is a cave. So not the desert area, a cave area. You can now use the leader character Ice Mario, which is pretty damn awesome. Damn, so many leaders you have. I find it really, real tough which ones to go with, but it's kind of nice to have both of them here, Ice Mario, Ice Luigi. Have you taken a look at your player card? Okay, I've actually just done my player card. It's kind of just like uh, your street pass. It's very useful. You can actually trade um, items and stuff. Well, not trade items, but you can gain items via street pass and stuff like that. So it's kind of cool. And yeah, we'll probably wrap things up here, guys. Remember, if you do want to see more, do not hesitate to ask because I'm more than happy to make a lot more videos of this. This is World 2. And does it have that awesome music? Alright, this new music's kind of kind of new to me. I was actually hearing for the music. Um, -na 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 -na. -na 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 -na. You guys know the one. I probably made it sound bad, but you know the one. So yeah, back at Toad's house. We'll quickly dive in before we uh, wrap things up. Um, power up, power up. No, we don't want to power up. We was actually here to do something else. We're going to transform so we can actually turn this. Uh, I was going to see if we could turn the flame charm into anything. I guess not. Um, what else we got here? Goomba, no, no P-Wing, nothing. So yeah, I guess we'll just wrap things up there, guys. Yeah, so that's going to be all for now. If you do want to see more, as I said, don't, he don't hesitate to ask. I'll be happy to bring more to you. And until next time, be sure to stick around because there will be more Pokemon Shuffle and stuff like that. Some more Pokemon unboxings and all that kind of good stuff. Possibly The Witcher 3, definitely some Splatoon. I'm still on the fence about The Witcher 3 because I'm kind of thinking, shall I just start Final Fantasy Type Zero or dive into another 200 hour game? Yeah, it's kind of crazy, but anyway, please, please be sure to give a thumbs up because it really does help, guys, and I hope to see you all in the next video. See ya.